I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, October 2014. Alberta's red-hot economy needs more temporary foreign workers to meet demand, says Premier Jim Prentice. Alberta Premier Jim Prentice says time is becoming a critical factor in solving the temporary foreign worker shortage, but he dismissed criticism that an exploitative province is to blame. Prentice plans soon to meet with Prime Minister Stephen Harper to discuss, among other issues, the temporary foreign worker changes that he says have hit Alberta's roaring economy considerably hard. They're quite prepared in most of the cases I've seen to pay a premium wage to get people here, he says. They just can't find people given the red-hot economy. In June, Harper's government brought in rules to limit the number of foreign workers that large and medium-sized companies can hire to ensure Canadians are first in line for jobs. Alberta and its oil sands engine have led the nation in growth during the past 20 years. Despite 100,000 newcomers a year, Alberta has grown heavily reliant on temporary foreign workers. As of December 2012, there were more than 68,000 temporary foreign workers in Alberta, constituting 20% of Canada's total. Prentice says that rule changes are starting to hit home, particularly in rural areas and in agriculture. Prentice is not the only Western leader expressing concerns. This week, B.C. Premier Christy Clark told the province's business community that training young people and wooing skilled workers from other provinces simply won't be enough to meet the labor needs of her envisioned liquefied natural gas industry. However, Federal Employment Minister Jason Kenney reaffirmed to a conference in Ottawa Thursday that there will not be any changes to the June rules. Kenny says that in Alberta, the program has been overused. He noted that wages in the fast food sector have not kept up with the rate of inflation. Gil McGowan, president of the Alberta Federation of Labor, says the temporary foreign worker program, far from bolstering the labor situation, has been a catalyst for placing downward pressure on wages. Last week, the AFL presented examples of various Alberta companies getting the green light to bring in temporary foreign workers despite paying wages substantially below the prevailing rate. McGowan, in an interview, said it becomes self-fulfilling economic principles. Underpaid foreign workers drive wages down across the board, serving as a disincentive for Canadians to take those jobs in turn creating a demand for even more temporary foreign workers. Kenny has suggested the impact on the changes in Alberta have been overstated. He says that when the new limits are fully implemented in 2016, it will be the equivalent of Alberta losing just 8,000 low-paid jobs relative to 2013, less than 1% of the province's entire workforce. Source, National Post.